there. Welcome to the Darren Marlar Radio Show. I'm Darren Marlar, and coming up today, we have a woman who assaults her mother with a cheeseburger. Um, honestly, uh, honesty, it's always the best policy, right? But sometimes it doesn't help your case if your brain is on drugs. We'll have that story for you coming up later on. Uh, there is quite a bizarre mystery going on at the Avon Lake Ohio Public Library. I'll tell you a little bit more about that. Uh, Andrew uh, Aqu uh, Aqu uh, Andrew Aqu uh, Aquilini. Aqu uh, Andrew A. Why, why must people have names that I can't pronounce? Anyway, Andrew, he, he thought he snagged a great bargain for a 52-inch plasma screen television on eBay. It turned out, though, to be a moment of duh. We'll have his story coming up later on as well. We'll uh, do some Question Impossible. Also, hiring a matchmaker. It goes horribly wrong for one wealthy woman, and you will understand why she is suing the matchmaker once you hear her totally outrageous story. Uh, bugs and ice cream make it into today's weird holidays. Don't worry, though, they're not together. Or are they? I guess you'll have to keep listening to find out. Uh, I'm going to start today with this story, though. Wouldn't it be great to be able to push a, a button and all the traffic lights would turn green for you? Wouldn't that be amazing? Well, that's what a couple of artists, of uh, scam artists in Miami, they were hoping you would want that. The device does not exist, though. Dag nabbit. Uh, they called these the Go Boxes, and they promised that they would change red lights to green with just a push of a remote control button. But there was no Go with the Go Boxes. People sent in checks to purchase these devices, and often they would get instructions on how to build the Go Box themselves, which turned out to be nothing more than a flashing strobe light. Others got nothing at all. The Go Boxes were advertised on the internet, sold for $69 to $150. The suspects, Johnny Green and Lisa Moon, they were indicted on charges of mail and wire fraud. It must be true, cause I heard it on the radio. It must be true, it must be true. Selena Gomez, she recently tweeted that she can hardly wait for people to forget about me. Okay, well, uh, you know, one idea might be to stop tweeting that you hope people forget about you. It just reminds them that you exist. If you like to, uh, well, like me, if you want to poke me on Facebook, although who, who even pokes anymore? I don't know who does that, but uh, you can tweet me, you can follow me, you can stalk me. You can find links to all of my social media, Twitter, Facebook, uh, Instagram, Minds.com. It's all there at DarrenOnTheAir.com. That's D-A-R-R-E-N, DarrenOnTheAir.com. Let's take a look at today's weird, wacky, strange, zany, odd, bizarre, quirky, unusual holidays. Today's Monday, August 21st. You have 125 shopping days until Christmas, and today is Scrape Off the Bugs Day. Off of what? Well, I don't know. Maybe we're supposed to scrape them off of the Spumoni because today is National Spumoni Day. Actually, I never really cared for the name Spumoni for ice cream. It tastes great, but the name Spumoni always kind of bugged me. It sounded like it should come with garlic and tomato sauce. You know, <laughs> it sounds like an Italian. Or, or if you remember the movie uh, um, Fast Times at Ridgemont High, Spumoni. It's got to sound like the guy who got a pizza delivered to him during Mr. Hand's class. And uh, today is Play a New Part Day. So whatever it is that you do, uh, do something different today at, at home, at work, uh, wherever you happen to be. Uh, try something new. Play a part. In fact, I have decided that today I'm going to just, just take a shot at being a radio professional. And if it goes well, I might treat myself to some spumoni. I want to be a DJ on the radio. Scientists say that one day we might be able to store data in our DNA, meaning the Kardashians will still be shallow right down to the molecular level. Hey, if you'd like a few laughs after the show, you can uh, check out my Daily Dose of Weird News. I have a new episode every weekday, including today, 
And you can find them all at DarrenOnTheAir.com. That's D-A-R-R-E-N, DarrenOnTheAir.com. Well, up next, hiring a matchmaker goes horribly wrong for one wealthy woman. You'll understand why she's suing the matchmaker once you hear her story. Uh, first, though, here it is. The, that, it's that time of year. Back to school shopping. And a lot of parents, they see this as a, as a tedious yearly task. But what if you could make it meaningful? Uh, what if you could make back to school shopping this year more of a, like a missions trip? Well, for countless kids around the nation, school supplies, they're not even on their radar, much less new clothes and shoes. So as you take your kids shopping for back to school items this year, you might consider buying doubles of a few things to help another child somewhere who might who uh, is also able to attend school but not able to buy the supplies and clothes that they need. In fact, you can uh, a lot of churches around the nation uh, do this kind of thing. You can find a church near you that's already doing this if you want to make a donation, or if you can't find one, maybe you can start a campaign at your own church or your office, your place of business. Uh, if you want to donate online to this kind of idea and actually learn a little bit more about it, you can check out missionbackpack.org. It's a pretty great idea, missionbackpack.org. Today's Question Impossible, the doll Barbie has a last name. Did you know that? Well, what is her last name? Again, the Barbie doll. Barbie has a last name. What is Barbie's last name? I'll give you the answer to that later on in the show. I'm Darren Marlar. If you'd like to send me an email or be a part of the show, well, you can uh, do that at DarrenOnTheAir.com. Just click on the radio show tab at DarrenOnTheAir.com. Well, hiring a matchmaker, it goes horribly wrong for one wealthy woman. You're going to understand why when you hear her story. What time is it, boys and girls? Totally outrageous! Totally outrageous! Darlene Daggett. She is the former president for U.S. Commerce for the QVC Home Shopping Channel. And while she may have been a success in business, her personal life was a little less than stellar. So, she hired Kelleher International, an exclusive matchmaking service that she claims charged her $150,000 and then set her up with a string of highly incompatible suitors. Now, how incompatible were they? Well, they included men who were married, mentally unstable, even felons. So, she sued. <laughs> no, no surprise, right? Yeah, well, Kelleher must have felt she had a case because they settled the lawsuit just hours after it was filed in federal court last week. Now, per the uh, the lawsuit, the 62-year-old Daggett, a divorced mom of four, well, she wanted someone to spend her retirement with, and she felt that social dating sites just wouldn't provide her with the degree of screening and privacy that she was looking for. She said she paid um, she paid the $150,000 for a CEO-level membership, which turned out to be absolutely worthless. Her attorneys described one match as a disgraced New York judge who was censured for sleeping with an attorney. Uh, another said that uh, he was waiting for his terminally ill wife to die before he began dating again. Another claimed he suffered from trauma that caused him to lie uncontrollably. Uh, Daggett said she later pursued a stalking complaint when that relationship turned sour, and that suitor is now awaiting sentencing on a $10.5 million federal bank fraud case. Wow. Totally outrageous. Totally outrageous. You know, after my first date with Brenda, she put a padlock on her front door, but that didn't stop me from getting a power drill and a bolt cutter. I think she's just playing hard to get. I knew there was something very wrong with Chuck when one night I caught him riffling through my trash. He told me he was collecting my used popsicle stick so he could remember me. What a sicko! I've been leaving messages on Brenda's answering machine 25 times a day for two months straight. I think the reason she hasn't returned my calls is because she's testing me to see how much I care about her. Yeah, she'll call back. There's a reason why there's an increase in restraining orders from couples who have met on eStalker.com. Hi, I'm Dr. Neil Clarkbar, founder of eStalker.com. Obsession is not just a picture in a paragraph, it's a lifelong commitment. Hi, this is Brenda. Please leave a message. 
Hi, Brenda. It's me again. Why don't you return my calls? I I'm sorry for painting your car orange. I, I was confused and angry because I love you so much. I love you. You can't leave me. We matched on eStalker.com. Log on to eStalker.com and see for yourself Please. why more eStalker Please. matches Please. result in absolute you. disaster than any other dating service out there. Hey, weirdos. Welcome to the Darren Marlar Radio Show. If you'd like to... To uh, keep up with everything I do, you can sign up for my newsletter. It's the Marler Sheet, and you can sign up for it at DarrenOnTheAir.com. A company claims it is selling a drone that can walk dogs. Okay, now if you're if you're so lazy that you're to the point of buying a drone to walk your dog, maybe it's best you just not get a dog. It's your birthday wrap-up for Monday, August 21st, 2017. Uh, celebrating birthdays today from Desperate Housewives, actor Cody Cash is 30. Cash? Cash? Kasich? Cash? I, I don't... I didn't watch Desperate Housewives. How am I supposed to know? Uh, you know her as Gertrude Lang in Mr. Holland's Opus. I had uh, the biggest crush on her when, she, when, th when that movie came out. She also played Libby in Vanilla Sky, uh, The Upside of Anger. Law & Order Criminal Intent actress Alicia Witt is 42. From Red Planet, Chocolat and The Matrix movies, actress Kiri Ann Moss is 47. By the way, my wife and I were watching Netflix now. There's a, uh, a TV show called Crossing Lines, and she ended up being on that as well. Just, just, she, is, she is phenomenal in just about everything she does. Uh, from Biloxi Blues, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, Godzilla 1997, the, the really bad Godzilla movie, uh, Inspector Gadget, Matthew Broderick is 55, and singer-actor Kenny Rogers is 79. Hey, if you'd like to get social with me, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Minds.com, LinkedIn, Instagram. I got links to all of those at DarrenOnTheAir.com. That's D-A-R-R-E-N, DarrenOnTheAir.com. Well, you know, we store the entirety of our digital lives on the devices that we use the most, you know, like our phones and computers. But, well, a lot of people will, will trade in our old gadgets for newer, faster gadgets, right? But we don't delete that data before trading it in, Many, mostly because some of us just don't know how. And that's a big problem. I mean, if, if we're not careful, a stranger can access not only our photos, but the emails we sent from that device, our web history. So in response, Yahoo Finance, they came out with a new report on deleting your information from the Apple, Android, and Windows 10 devices. If you want to get the details on this, I do have a, a link to that article in my blog right now at DarrenOnTheAir.com. Coming up, a brawl takes place at a funeral home, but first, it's today's Question Impossible. The question again was, the doll Barbie has a real name. What is Barbie's real name? Or the last name, that is. Barbie's last name is Roberts. Barbie Roberts. This episode's brought to you by the audiobook True Tales of Haunted Places by G. Michael Vasey, narrated by Darren Marlar. Anywhere and anything can be haunted, and many people from all walks of life experience strange things in surprising locations. As you'll discover, the prettiest of places, the most innocent of places, and the most unexpected places can be filled with supernatural forces and pure demonic malevolence. Haunted places, churches, hospitals, forests, the workplace, and more. Horrifying true tales of ghosts, demons, poltergeists, and the paranormal. Come and be chilled by people's creepy experiences with the supernatural in ordinary, everyday places. Warning. Listening to this book may increase nervousness. Hear a free sample and support Marler House by downloading the audiobook for yourself at MarlerHouse.com. The Darren Marler Radio Show! <laughs> a brawl broke out at a Dayton, Ohio funeral home recently during the viewing. According to a police report, a woman arrived at the viewing claiming to be the current girlfriend of the deceased man. 
However, that man's wife asked the woman to be removed from the viewing. Well, an altercation ensued between these two women. A family member attending the viewing pepper sprayed both women so the fight would break up. It was so unexpected and exciting that the grandkids in the back row stood up and started yelling, Encore! Encore! You're quite a creepy person, aren't you? Hey, if you missed any part of today's show or shows in the past, well, you can find them all on the radio show page at DarrenOnTheAir.com. Coming up next, Andrew Aquilini. He thought that he snagged a great bargain for a 52-inch plasma screen television on eBay, but it turned out to be a moment of duh. I'm Darren Marlar, and welcome to the show, weirdos. And ladies, how do you make him fall in love with you? Well, here's an idea. Take that guy on a roller coaster ride, or take him bungee jumping, or whitewater rafting. Literally. Turns out that stomach flips, adrenaline, and screams associated with any white knuckle event it creates a rush of the hormone that makes us guys fall in love, according to research from Richard Robinson author of the why the one, uh, of the book why the one you fancy never fancies you uh, that hormone it's called phenylphylamine and it's it's an important component in the science of attraction it's secreted when you see somebody that you really like in fact you know this makes total sense uh, 22 years ago i fell in love with my wife robin from the adrenaline rush of being in the passenger seat when she was driving my heart is still racing Hillary Clinton is set to release her book What Happened next month that explains her loss in the 2016 election. It's said to be a very quick read, just one page, saying, I was a terrible candidate. <laughs> I, have, I, I, have, uh, I have really uh, nothing to uh, – I mean, how do you answer that? You know, there's a lot of buzz today about the, uh, the, the uh, solar eclipse that's taking place, so much so that uh, yesterday I decided to take a little time and create a video about the history of the solar eclipse and how it affected uh, our, you know, our ancient ancestors, how they reacted to it, both with fear and also in the religion that they uh, that they uh, incorporated into it. Christopher Columbus was a real jerk when it came to uh, the solar eclipse too. You can hear that story and a whole bunch of them in the video I created yesterday. It's the latest Weird Darkness episode, and you can find that on the Weird Darkness tab at DarrenOnTheAir.com. Right now, though, it's time for today's Moment of Duh, and instead of a plasma television with a great picture, Andrew Aquilini he ended up paying $2,000 for a 52-inch picture of a TV set. Andrew, he was one of three people scammed by an 18-year-old Brian Kim on eBay. Uh, buyers thought that they were getting a TV with a great picture. Instead, they just paid thousands for a great picture of a plasma TV. Uh, Andrew and two others scammed buyers. They alerted eBay, who quickly contacted authorities. Mr. Kim was arrested and charged with theft by deception. Duh. What, what, what the devil is that? That's that no, no. The Darren Marlar Radio Show. The more I resist, the more intriguing they become. You must be the Darren Marlar. If you didn't know, avocados, they are all the rage these days. And unfortunately, that comes with some painful realities. Hey everybody, welcome to the uh, Darren Marlar Radio Show. I'm Darren Marlar, and emergency room doctors, they're reporting a sharp increase in the number of amateur chefs winding up with serious stab and slash injuries as they attempt to cut through the soft flesh and remove the hard pits of avocados. Uh, docs have even dubbed the injury avocado hand. Uh, Fry Freya Watson, a TV producer in London, said, I had to go to the ER and get three stitches, and I have, uh, have lost most of the sensation in my finger. One doctor said that he sees as many as four patients a week with avocado hand. So if you're an unskilled uh, person yourself when it comes to a knife, maybe watch a few tutorials before attempting to dissect your avocado. Uh, up next here on the show, there's quite a bizarre mystery going on at the Avon Lake Ohio Public Library. Some details on that story up next. First, though, British scientists they have developed a new melt-proof recipe for chocolate. The heat-tolerant chocolate developed by Cadbury engineers it remains solid even when exposed to temperatures in excess of 104 degrees, 
or 40 degrees Celsius uh, for more than three hours, in fact. It, so, so it doesn't melt in your mouth or your hands. I mean, it won't melt at 104 degrees, but our body temperature is 98.6. That means it's not going to melt in our mouths either. Which, well, I mean, what's the fun in, in, in that then? I mean, unless you have a really high fever, at which point it would melt, but then at that point you probably don't need the chocolate. Bottled water it may not be any healthier or safer than tap water, according to Florida-based sports nutritionist and dietitian Cynthia Sass, who says that 25% of bottled water on store shelves it's actually just repackaged tap water. A recent Gallup poll found that we drink bottled water because we think it's purer than tap water, tastes better, and is more convenient. Uh, well, more convenient? <laughs> What can be more convenient than walking outside and drinking from the hose? Deep from beneath the sinks and tubs of the city, up through the pipes that run below the sewers and subways, gurgling forth to refresh the thirst of the nation's dwellers, comes the miracle of man. And that is the miracle of tap water. Water. Yellow, brown, and now hard. No bottles to return. No funny carbonated taste. Just good old wet and colorful. Tap water. The affordable refresher. Now fortified with life-saving pharmaceuticals. Hey, if you'd like to hear any of my past shows, you can find them anytime, uh, both on my website at DarrenOnTheAir.com, or you can download my free mobile app. Just search for Marlar House, M-A-R-L-A-R, -A House, uh, in your phone app store. It's absolutely free. Up next, honesty is always the best policy, but sometimes it doesn't help your case if your brain is on drugs. That story is on the way. First, though, there's quite a bizarre mystery going on at the Avalon Lake Ohio Public Library. The staff, they've been scratching their heads about this, trying to figure out who has scattered 30 empty A1 steak sauce bottles around the place over the past two months. No clues offered from surveillance tapes, either. Uh, most of the bottles have turned up in the adult fiction and non-fiction sections. Uh, the library is completely stumped. They, they're, they've pretty much ruled out prankster kids as the bottles appear to be left during school hours. A library manager wonders if this is maybe some kind of fourth-dimensional chess match, asking, is it a game that we don't know how to play? Well, I, I think you're right there. I, I, think, you, uh, I think it is a game. Uh, you don't know how to play it, and you are the pawns. I want to hear it. The Darren Marlar Radio Show. It would make me happy. happy. The California man, he was arrested recently for posing as a dentist while cooking meth in his office. The red flag for police was when the man's patients kept coming out with worse teeth, teeth than they went in with. Yep, they kept coming back for more. They call me Yup Ma, cause I don't brush. Oh, I like my teeth like this. They call me Yup Ma. No, I won't brush. How's about a little kiss? I got both beef in my teeth, got some chicken too. Ouch! That's a cavity. Hey, that's new. Hey, I'm Darren Marlar. Welcome to the show, weirdos. And if you want to, uh, to like me, tweet me, follow me, stalk me, you can find links to all my social media at DarrenOnTheAir.com. That's D-A-R-R-E-N, DarrenOnTheAir.com. Uh, our next story, a woman assaults her mother with a cheeseburger. First, though, it's our Brain on Drug story, and uh, each day that I, uh, that I share this with you, it's about people doing dumb things under the influence. But addiction itself, that is no laughing matter. If you or somebody you know needs help, there's a toll-free number that you can call. It's 1-800-438-0380. That's the Addiction Hope and Helpline, 1-800-438-0380. And today's Brain on Drugs, honesty is always the best policy. But sometimes it doesn't help your case. This is your brain on drugs. <laughs> An Ohio police officer recently pulled over a van with the suspicion that the driver was driving under the influence of alcohol. After pulling over 42-year-old Nancy Lang to give her a sobriety test, she said 
Please, give me a break. I'm drunk. <laughs> well, believe it or not, she was arrested and charged with speeding, driving under the influence of alcohol, driving with a suspended license, and driving with expired license plates. But hey, you know, at least she was honest. This is your brain on drugs. <laughs> Any questions? Airbnb. I've never used them, but you know who they are, right? You can you can actually uh, instead of using a motel or a or a hotel somewhere, you can rent somebody's house uh, if, to a, wherever you're going to your destination. If somebody's going to be gone from their house, they'll leave it open for rent. That's what that's how Airbnb works. Well, reportedly, the Airbnb uh, folks they are permanently banning white supremacists from making reservations on the site. Now that sounds great, but how do you plan on doing that? I mean. How do you know if somebody is a white supremacist just by their name when they try to make a reservation? I mean, unless their name is Whitey McBlackhater, how do you know? Listen, friends, it's one thing to play a bigot on TV, and it's quite another thing to be a bigot in real life. You know, there are still people around who are willing to hurt other people by judging them primarily on their race or their religious beliefs. Now, bigotry has not helped Archie Bunker's life. You know that. It has spoiled it in many ways, small and large. Hey, if you'd like a few laughs after the show, you can check out my Daily Dose of Weird News. I have a new episode every weekday. You can uh, click on the Daily Dose of Weird News tab at DarrenOnTheAir.com. That's D-A-R-R-E-N, DarrenOnTheAir.com. Well, police are investigating after a woman assaulted her mother with a cheeseburger at a McDonald's in Indianapolis. Uh, the uh, Metro Police there, they were called after the two women got in a fight because the mom told her daughter that she could no longer stay at her home. Well, reportedly, the mom drove her daughter to somebody else's house, but on the way, the daughter changed her mind about where she wanted to go. The 60-year-old mother told officers that her daughter, 39 years old by the way, started yelling at her, so she stopped at McDonald's. According to the police report, the victim stated her daughter yelled, B-word, I ought to kill you and hit her in the left side of her face with her hand and the cheeseburger. The mom told police she had pain on the left side of her face, which was still red and swollen when they arrived. The daughter got into another driver's vehicle and fled the scene. There you go. Gr great idea, by the way, daughter. Yeah, it's these kinds of actions. Th these actions are exactly what a mom wants to see, you know, so she'll invite you to stay at the house after all. Well played. I'm loving it. Identify yourself. You're listening to. Here's the deal. It's about time. Is everyone ready? 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 The master of ceremonies. Darren Marlar Radio Show. Listen. Crank up the radio. If you'd like to drop me an email, you can do it very easily. Just click on the radio show tab at DarrenOnTheAir.com or click on the uh, the envelope on the right column. Either way, it'll work for you. That's DarrenOnTheAir.com. D-A-R-R-E-N on the air dot com. Well, that does it for me today. I hope you had a great time, weirdos. I know I did. I'm going to leave you with this thought. The best way to take the cranky out of your day. I mean, it is Monday, right? So... I know that people tend to be a little bit cranky on Mondays, so here's an idea. If you can do it, grab a little nap time. In a study from the University of California at Berkeley, participants who took a 60 to 90 minute nap, they were more receptive to happy facial expressions than people who did not nap. Furthermore, non-nappers, they were more reactive to negative emotions, suggesting that being well-rested, it helps us modulate our feelings. So, if you'll excuse me, I'm out of here and headed to bed. Good night, ladies. Good night, sir. Hit it, sweetheart.